I'm joined by the co-chair of Women Vote Trump, Amy Kremer, and CNN political commentator and Hillary Clinton supporter, Hillary Rosen. Welcome to both of you. Good hey, morning. Carol. Sorry nice about those Indians. Oh, I'm so sad. <laughs> I guess we're not I... here to talk about baseball, huh? <laughs> no, but that's a good thing today, Amy, since my team lost. <laughs> so. But Amy, I want to start with you and, and ask you what you want to hear from Melania Trump since she hasn't been stumping for her husband mm. much. Right. I, you know, I want to hear what she wants to do as first lady. Um, I think she's a great speaker and she's a very classy lady. I know that at the convention and anytime she's been out there talking, people love her. And so I want to hear more about what she's going to do. I, I applaud her because she hasn't been out there. She has said that raising their son Barron is her number one priority. And there's a lot of pressure on campaigns, as we all know. And so I'm sure she's felt the pressure to get out there, but she stood firm and said, no, my son is number one. And so that's been her priority. And I applaud her for that. Hillary, what do you expect to hear from Melania Trump? Well, I'm I'm sure she's going to be the you know the the dutiful wife and and talk about uh, how much she believes in her husband, which I hope she would since she's married right. to him. Um, I think that you know the fact that she hasn't been out there to date has been because she has wanted to stay home with her son, but also because the campaign kept making promises about her appearances that then they couldn't keep, like she was going to. They were going to have a press conference about her immigration status or that she um, was going to uh, deal with with other issues that had been raised. So I, I think that they have tried to not put her in that position of having to defend herself against some of those mysteries. But, you know, it, look, these are the final days. It's all hands on deck. Right. Right, right. I, I'm just because she's going to be speaking in the Philadelphia, Philadelphia suburbs, so she's going mm -hmm. to try to woo those white suburban, uh, college-educated women back to the Trump camp. So, what will Melania Trump say, Amy, that will accomplish that? Well, you know, Carol, I mean, you know, she's a mom. She's no different than any other mom out there. Yes, she is Melania Trump, and her husband is running for president of the United States, but she's still a mom and just like Michelle Obama and her girls. I mean, I think that that is, I think that it's good that she portrays that. The other thing I would say is she's also a very strong woman. I, like I said, I think they've pressured her to be out there and from interviews she's done and things she said, she seems to, you know, control her own destiny and she does what she wants to do and nobody makes her do that. And I think that that's encouraging for women to stand up and be strong and to hold your own and not just succumb to the pressures around you because we all face all different mm -hmm. pressures all the time. So I think it's really encouraging and she'll be able to relate to those mothers, um, the suburban women but, but, in, outside but of do, Philadelphia. But I do I, think, I, Hillary, I think that underlying, that underlying, you know, you know, people will be watching Melania Trump's right. speech, but underlying all that, they'll be thinking, well, what about those things that her husband said about women? You what know, about I, those women who have accused Donald Trump? Right. I don't think that Melania Trump will bring that up. Um, probably many analysts will say that, she should not, but, is, but right. that's there still, right? This is a very high-risk strategy for the Trump campaign because it's inevitable, I think, that when people see Melania Trump, when news reports come out about Melania Trump, it doesn't matter how classy she comes across. What people are going to be remembering and thinking about is Donald Trump's words on that bus, those 12 women who have accused him of, you know, inappropriate groping, his boorish behavior over the years on Howard Stern, his, his nasty comments about Megyn Kelly and Rosie O'Donnell and women in general, and Alicia Machado. That's what they're going to be thinking about when they look at, at Melania Trump. And, they may admire her for sticking with a guy who is so obviously misogynist and boorish, but really it's going to reinforce memories and thoughts about him that the that suburban women are not happy with. And so and, I think and it's Amy, a mistake on the campaign's part, Amy, actually. Yeah. Amy, and I bring this up because of what happened in New Hampshire with Republican Senator Kelly Ayo, right? She's running for re-election. It's a very tight race there. And um, she was on this radio show, and she talked about whether she wanted her daughter in the same room as Mr. Trump or Bill Clinton. This is what she said. I have a 12-year-old 12 12-year-old daughter. daughter, okay. Would you want your, let's say, let's, let's fast forward four years, and your daughter's 16 years of age. Would you have wanted your daughter to hear the conversation that Donald Trump had engaged in with the reporter from Access Hollywood on that bus? I think we all know the answer to that. Okay. Yeah. At any point in time, would you want your 16-year-old daughter in a room with Bill Clinton? 
I, I wouldn't want my daughter in the room with any of them. But, you know, the point of this is that, uh, you know, why would I want my daughter in the room with them? Okay, so Amy, that, that sentiment it, is still out there. Yeah, but Carol, this is the thing, is that what Donald Trump did, he apologized for, and we're going to see if the American people have forgiven him. And, you know, Kelly, I, I respect her for saying that about her daughter. I mean, quite honestly, I wouldn't want my 12-year-old daughter in a room with him or any other guy. I mean, that's something as a mom, we don't want our she's daughters, we don't ever... Well, I'm no, sorry. She, I don't think she's... I, was 16. We're I talking don't, about... It, my point is, she's not talking about, like, they're going to attack her. I think she's saying she doesn't want them around. She doesn't want her daughter around that language. We that are talk, talking and I understand that. About the President of the United States. What exactly. parent would not want their child to be in the Oval Office to meet Hillary, Barack do Obama I need to remind or you Hillary of, Clinton. Do I need to remind Listen, you about no, Bill Clinton? No, I mean, what he we was need to think Oval about, Office. I'm sorry, this is what we need to think about. Who no. is going to be our next president? Who will we want our right. children to be in the room with? Hillary Clinton is somebody who children will want to be in a room with. The following Barack Obama. That's so to suggest that somehow for Kelly Ayotte to say, well, I you know, I wouldn't you. want my kid to be with any president. That's crazy. What I, we want I is our kids to you. look up to our president. Hillary Clinton will be that kind of no, president. No, she won't. That She's we going, can be proud if she of wins, with our kids. she will go into the White he, House under federal investigation, and never no, in our history has that happened. First of all, she is not under federal investigation at this point. We have a staff um, issue there. But having said that, That's what we want case, is Hillary. proud. Kelly Ayotte will not be able to put her kid in a room with Donald Trump because she's afraid that what he would grope her or kiss or whatever. Please, let's not even and think about that. And she's going to send him to the let's White not send go a child there. to the White House with Bill Clinton. I don't think so. I think well, the Bill American Clinton people is not running for president. Look, the, the fact is, is that we have two candidates that are the most unlike candidates in the history of this nation, and the American people are going to have to decide. And are they going to decide based on comments that Donald Trump made that we don't like, or are they going to base it up on decisions? and actions that Hillary Clinton has done putting our national security at risk by having a server, unsecured server in her basement and sending top classified information across There's it. There's no evidence that Hillary there, Clinton put our nation at risk and that comes from the FBI director. That, but that's if, exactly She has right. admitted but, that um, it was careless of her to do that. But and so, I'm to end the conversation But you're right. There. Elections she, are about you. choices. Thank and you so much. Both of you. Who our kid is proud of is important. Amy Kremer, Hillary Rosen, thanks to both of you.